I'm Shell and I'm a cosplayer. If you're new to my channel, welcome, or if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today I want to share a super easy cosplay you can make for just a few dollars, a platelet from Cells at Work. Cells at Work is a Japanese manga series depicting life inside the human body. The anime first premiered in 2020, and season two just started airing last week. To celebrate the new season, I wanted to make a cosplay of my favorite character, the platelets. Platelet cosplays are really simple to make and super comfortable. All you need is a white hat, blue shirt, and boots. But if you want to get more creative, you can also make fun accessories to customize your look. So let's get started. First, it was time to hit up my local Walmart. I wandered the men's clothing section with my vlogging camera, feeling incredibly ridiculous, but thankfully soon found a plain white hat. You could also get this at a craft or dollar store. I had also hoped to buy a large blue shirt but couldn't find one, so my dad kindly let me borrow one of his. Next was the boots, and luckily I already had a pair of large black rain boots. Since I didn't want to change them permanently, I made a white line at the top using electrical tape. This is a great temporary way to add stripes to a piece of clothing without leaving any residue behind. Next up, the hat. Almost every character in Cells at Work wears a hat to show what kind of cell they are, from red blood cells to killer T cells. For the platelet hat, you can paint the symbols or draw them on with a permanent marker, but I chose to use my sticker method, the same one I did for the tie on my Kyoko Kirigiri cosplay. The great thing about this method is that you can easily remove the logo from the item just in case you want to use it differently in the future. First, I printed out the Japanese word for platelet, then cut around the symbols using an X-Acto knife. If you don't have an X-Acto knife, you can just use scissors, those work too. After sticking on some clear packing tape, I cut again, this time leaving an edge of the tape and making it into a sticker. To be honest, I could have made this a lot neater, but I was kind of feeling lazy. With the essential parts of my cosplay complete, I wanted to add a prop. The platelets carry these little flags, so I grabbed some spare fabric and went to work. Luckily, I had my little plush platelet friend to use as a reference. I did a quick sharpie sketch on my fabric first, then mixed up some acrylic paints. I actually made the flag too small, so I couldn't fit all of the characters. Oops. When the paint dried, I folded the edge of the fabric over and sealed it closed with hot glue. I also glued the top of the seam so that my flag wouldn't slide down on the stick. Since the platelets are kids, I kept my makeup very simple and natural, with warm neutral eyeshadow and just a hint of blush. I also had the perfect wig to cosplay the leader platelet, but you don't need a wig for this cosplay, because every platelet looks different, so you could use your own hair or any wig you have. The platelets are so cute, and this cosplay was so fun to make and wear. If you have any interest at all in science or biology, you're going to absolutely love Cells at Work. And this is a really fun, simple outfit for your first cosplay, or any cosplay for an event where you want to be comfy and casual. I hope this tutorial was helpful and or fun and or informative, and thank you so much for watching. Tune in next week for more videos, and have a great day! Bye!